episode of Super Reaction Bros. I'm Kristen. I'm Kristen. And on today's episode, we're taking a look at the Star Wars Battlefront 2 single player trailer. Now, we've heard good things coming from the beta. Yeah. But. I got to play the beta too. How was it? Really good. I, I definitely compared to the. Gameplay wise, core gameplay wise, did it feel more or uh, less the same? Um, a little bit, but the improvements they've done on pretty much I know the, the leaves, classes. The leaves were like a thing. <laughs> the leaves. But um, no, no, no. Um, core gameplay, pretty much. It, it, it's still about the same, but just a lot more to, to do. Pretty much, a lot more you can do compared to the last one. Especially when you can, you know, choose instead of unlocking certain, you know, not unlocking certain characters, yes. but um, you could play. When I mean, you played the special characters, either like Luke or Han or anything like that. Um, compared to the last game where they gave you that limited amount of time, no, you could play them. Until you die, and then when you die, then you go back to choosing one of the regular oh, that's classes. Cool. That's cool. Which is really cool. I love that. That's another thing that's awesome. Now, I want to tackle this just for a split second because it's a, it's a big controversy right now mm -hmm. in gaming because Shadow War has it and Star Wars Battlefront Two has it. Do you know what I'm talking about? Um, it's something Injustice Two does well, and that's loot boxes. Yeah, the loot boxes. Yes. Yeah. The, after. The uh, beta came out, and we found out more that there could be more loot boxes. EA came out, kind of said, EA, the guys who just um, can visceral, by the way, um, yes. came out and said they were going to look more into fixing it. Yeah. I believe that's what they said. Um, loot boxes, I think, are a fun thing, but when you have to pay actual money to get remotely anything good, it's kind of the problem I have with, like, loot crate. Yeah, you know. But as I said, for Overwatch, it makes sense. Loot uh, for there. No, no, no. That's I said. No, no. Uh, for certain games, I'm not saying. Oh, uh, no. I'm not saying loot boxes are all bad or anything like I'm, that. No, but I, for I'm certain not, ones. Let me. This is why I brought up Justice Two, because mm -hmm. Justice Two is a close thing to loot boxes being done well. Where, a, you know, if you are paying actual money for it, you're just going to get cosmetic stuff. Mm -hmm. And b, any other loot box out there, you can earn it with in-game stuff. With in-game, yeah. A yeah. lot. You can get a lot. I think overall you. loot boxes are a thing that should not be out until they find the exact formula to make them work. Exactly. Because you paying five real world dollars to get a random box of shit, I don't think that's a good deal. Mm -hmm. Like, you, you did this to try to get some high-end stuff. What you got was a toenail, was toenail clippings. And an art shot of a random hero. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know. Instead of being the gold, the King Midas of like loot boxes. Mm -hmm. But, anyways, that was a small little, little off tangent. But, anyways, uh, for those who forgot, so yeah. the single player in this game will be about somebody I forgot, to forget their name. But they're a part of an elite squad mm -hmm. of stormtroopers who this takes place after the start the. The Death Star, Death Star 2 The Reckoning gets destroyed. Yeah, this is after The Last Jedi, pretty much. And this, and this takes place... No, 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 sorry. You, 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 let me Not The Last Jedi, The uh, oh, Return of the Jedi. This takes place Jedi. after the events of Return of the Jedi, but before the events of Force Awakens. Yeah, this is... Yeah. Showing all our characters doing, you know, seeing what we're going through with them. Like, yeah. them encountering the characters from the movies... Star this is them dealing with pretty much the uh, the after effects of you know the emperor dying, all of this and stuff like that. It's like um, things that the ramifications were like how, I like how they put it going. Have they now become the underdogs? Pretty much in this, you know, in this story, they become the underdogs. Um, it has the chick from Mysteries of Laura. Has the chick, the dude from um, Green from Arrow, Blackthorn. Paul Blackthorn. Paul, uh, it's easy to remember his name because Blackthorn is such a badass last name. Um, and a couple others I don't remember. And your older twist we found out in the D23 Expo trailer was that um, her father, the leader's father, is is uh, like a higher higher up in the um, empire. Yeah. Let's just dive right into this, and we'll be able to discuss a lot more after it. So let's dive right into for the Star Wars Battlefront 2 single player trailer. So here we go. <laughs> Oh, she's on Rebel Base. That little verse here. The rebellion cannot be allowed to persist. It might be Inferno. Inferno Squad. You 
you wish to see me, sir. The Emperor is dead. So what happens now? We return. Commander. We've been fighting our whole life. Today, the rebellion dies. You would think that. I know, right? Okay. I think what I find most interesting about the single player is that, you know, it's a Star Wars game. So, okay, I'm playing a good guy. No. Well, I'm playing a bad guy. Well, yeah, but... Again, like we said, pretty much, it's like you're playing... In this case... We found, we found out at D23 as well that this is somebody who grew up in the life of the Empire when mm. she was a kid to where she is now. So she's never really been... You know, she grew up on the Empire. She never grew up on other things, you know. Yeah. Her father was... You saw her father... Her family was always in, within the Empire, pretty much. Yeah. So, for her, this is this is revenge for not not for a bad guy failing, but for what well, her life being destroyed around her. Yeah, essentially, you know. And it seems like the you know, ramifications, pretty much, with her trying to understand what they have to do to take down the Rebellion... You know, but also dealing with pretty much what, you know, they want her to do. Yeah. You know, and you get to see and visit places that are already in, that started in yeah, we Force see, of we Weekend. Yeah, we see, um... Maz Kanata's, um... Uh, besides uh, Luke, which we've seen in all the Star yeah, trailers. The young, yeah, the young Luke, but you see Maz Kanata's, uh, her little bar. We've seen you see me. that place, and you see her herself. And Leia as well. Yeah, exactly. So, it, it, we're going to see pretty much where they were at, what happened... Things like that, and it looks like we're gonna get. You saw that quick little hint of maybe possibly seeing by the end of it, maybe uh, Kylo or something like that. Hey, something, something close to it. Well, it feels like, oh yeah. I mean, Ma, Ma, doing the whole going to Maz's bar thing feels like them. That's near the end of the story. Like I said, a lot of that is gonna probably be near the end. For me. That's the only thing I can think of. Yeah, I mean, for the most part, single player looks good. Still. No official gameplay tra trailer for story mode. Yeah, no official. All of it's like cutscenes. A lot of what we got is cutscenes. We haven't seen actual. This like, is, game. is it, yeah, not really a lot. So of, I mean, this I mean, you, they have dropped some, but it's the type of thing where it's not like a trailer of a game. When does this movie, a game come out? I was supposed to say movie. I, I forgot well, when this game comes. out. I think out. this game comes out soon. So surprisingly, they haven't given us anything in terms of gameplay. Yeah, I, like I said, I'm not too sure when it's supposed to come out, but. Um, but like I said, though, it's just, it, it, that's all they're doing is giving us clips and bits of it, pretty much. But, again, it seems, it seems interesting. I mean, where they're going with this story. They don't want to give too much away, at least in the story, because I read online that they stated that, uh, the story mode is five to seven hours long. That's not bad. Which isn't, isn't bad. That's a good, that's good for what they're, what they're trying to do. Yeah. That's, that's good for really what they're trying to do, and... I, I really can't wait to see, see more. I mean, I, I am gonna, this is now officially on my list of games I definitely want to get um, compared to the last one. But this is one I would definitely wouldn't mind getting um, and try and playing because, like I said, I played the uh, the uh, the open beta, which was like only for like 24 hours since it was like near the end of the closed beta. That, that's sad. Look at Google. Google thinks Star Wars Battlefront 2 is the old Star Wars Battlefront 2. Yeah, I know. But November 17th. Ha! <laughs> wow. Um, Lots of stuff coming on the commercial. I know, right? <laughs> uh, but, like I said, though, it's going to be interesting. I really wouldn't mind seeing more. I, I need to see actual gameplay. I mean, story wise, it looks to be really interesting, but I got to see some actual gameplay. Like, guys, I've seen the gameplay, but like I, like I said, they don't have a setup where it's like a gameplay trailer. It's just yeah, gameplay. single no, yeah, single player gameplay. Yeah, that's why I said single player. player. Yeah. That's why I said, well, that's what I'm saying. The single player, pretty much, gameplay, they are, you can find that online for the single player mode pretty much but it's they don't have like a single player you know like gameplay trailer that's yeah. what i'm saying they don't have that set up yeah so other than that though if you're new to the channel you can hit the like button if you want to talk some more about stuff like this comment down below if you want to share us around share it around 
And if you like it just a little bit more than anybody else when it comes to talking about discussion regarding loot boxes, hit that subscribe button down below. Or if you're also on mobile, hit that bell icon to right. Um, just give us a comment down below uh, just about you know what your thoughts are in this game or you got to play the beta, what you thought of it, what's your insight of it pretty much. Because everybody has different th ideas, different opinions on this game. For us, it seems really good that they're taking it in the, in the right direction that the, the first one should have been going. Um, but like I said, give us a comment down below. Let us know what your thoughts are. And definitely let us know what you thought of uh, our reaction. And thank you for watching. So until next time, I'm Christopher. I'm Christopher. And that was a very Star Wars filled episode of SRB. See ya. Later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Yeah, and if you want to see any more of our videos, check out the playlist links down below in the description. And you can also check out our Twitter uh, account pretty much uh, down below at Super React Bros.